touches on a very sensitive issue happening in and outside Ghana, our attention and cost that much. Now, book I'm like, wow. At age eight, not trust sure a book way. I'm not going to try out of things that happen, any experience on Nokasa Akum. Five years on, I have my young sister, Samuela Osai Ewaha. She happens to be a student of Matters of Uganda here in Kumase. Now she's 13. I feel like I'm in the book. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much for coming to my studio. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Which class are you? Form 2. Form 2. GSS 2. Yes. Or JHS 2. Tell me something about Samuela. Is it Samuela or Samuela? Samuela. Samuela. Okay. So tell me something about Samuela. Samuela is a young girl. She's a sister. <laughs> she's a sister. She's a student. And she's also a young author. Okay. Or, let me see. A, a young authoress. Okay. Um, how many siblings do you have? Two. Two siblings. Uh, a brother or a sister? Two sisters. Okay. Are they are you the youngest or are you the youngest? Second born. Second born. So there's a first person before you. Yes. Okay. Um, how how is life going? Twenty twenty three. Life is good. And life can be bad, but you have to accept it. Mm. Form two. Yes, please. Which courses do you offer? We do like ten subjects. Subjects, okay. Social so studies. Maths, mm. science, French. English. Three. Career. And creative arts. You do career? Yes. Please. What's, what was the. You stop environmental studies? Environmental studies is in social. Okay, social studies. Okay, okay. So you do social studies. Yes. Please. Okay. So uh, what what is career? Uh, career is is like it's a, about how you can live your life. Okay. What you can do to make money. Okay. So you like a job that you want to do in future. It's like um in entrepreneurial skills. Oh, okay. Okay. So. BC, you write 10 subjects. Yes, Career is also part of the exam that you write. Wow. Yes. I mean, in our days, we weren't doing that. We weren't doing a lot of the things that you, you are doing right now. We're, I'm doing ICT right now. Yes. Okay. Yes. We weren't doing creative as then, too. We're doing. I don't know. You should. Masset. Pretek. Don't do Pretek. We do Pretek, but it's part of the creative arts. Creative arts. Oh, also. Our time. Pretek. Technical skills was like a, a subject on its own. You, mm. you, you go with your T square, your drawing board, and all that, master, and all that. Okay. So, how did the book come about? The book came about when I was eight years old. And I used to like writing a lot. When I go to school on Monday, my friends would be talking about the cartoons that they watched Saturday and Sunday. And I will listen to them and try to make a story out of it. So it's continued, but I never knew that I'll write my own book one day. Mm. I, wrote those I wrote those stories, but I never kept it well. Okay. And whenever I read it, I know that I've written something, but it mm. didn't make sense to me. And one day, on vacation, I remember it was a Wednesday. My sister and I were reading. We were reading and doing our homeworks. And she decided that let's go and play a little outside. So she, I told her to move first so that I can pack the books in my dad's workplace. So when she moved, I, I also, after packing, I decided to go outside. When I went outside, she was standing in front of a young woman. And the woman was giving my sister a toffee, the toffee they call fine toffee. Okay. So she was about to collect it. And because she was younger than me, but I sensed danger that I, I don't know the woman anyway. I, I've never seen um, the woman with my parents before. So I don't trust the lady. So I called my sister and then she turned and she knew that I'm her elder sister. Like 
I'm older than her, so she ran into my father's office. So when my father came later in the day, before that, we, I tried to see whether the lady is gone or not, but when I turned, I didn't see her anywhere. So I thought of it like, so if my, I wasn't there in time, and my sister was standing there, maybe she would have disappeared or something like that. So when my father came later in the day, I told him what happened in his absence. And then he told me that that's why we should never trust anyone because she's a stranger. We don't know where, her anywhere. And the fact that the stranger was giving my sister the toffee, that's how the name, the, the title of the story came, A Stranger, A Stranger's Toffee. Okay. Okay, so um, a stranger's toffee was about to do a lot of harm to your little sister. Yes. But you saved her. So that's what the book is about. Yes. It's about people kidnapping others. Um, apart from your sister's issue, I mean, this is a very serious issue that I think attention hasn't been drawn on it in recent times. Uh, after you, you wrote this book, how has it changed things for the past five years? hasn't changed things like maybe it has changed things in a way okay at age eight you wrote everything yourself yes how did you write it i after my dad i told him okay i was like i've had kidnapping incidents happening but i never thought that it took it could be real so your father said that or you I said it myself. Okay. I. You said it to your mind. Yes. You said it to yourself. Yes, please. Okay. So I was like, no. If it hadn't happened to me, I wouldn't have known that it is real. So what can I do for others to know kids like me, like my sister, to know that kidnapping is real? Because I've encountered it mm -hmm. and I have to share my experience. And the little thing I could do was to write it. Okay. I never thought that my dad would publish it for me. So I wrote it within an hour. You wrote a book within an hour? Yes. This book? Yes. Wow. 25 page. Yes, please. 25 page book. The book has 25 pages, so it is a 25 page book. She wrote everything in an hour. That's, that's awesome. But when I got to um, classes, I added safety precautions so that when um, they read it, but this one is the old one. Okay. Yes. So you updated it when you go to class six? Yes, please. So the first one was written in class five? This one was written in class, uh, class two when I was eight years. You wrote a book in class two? Yes, when I was eight years. Really? Yes. Class two? You could write a book? So you wrote all these... Uh, uh, okay, this is just a profile of you. You wrote a class two? Yes, please. I don't remember what I was doing in class two. <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived two girls called Amada Nkwa and her little sister, Efua Ejewa, in a village called Kutukum in the eastern region. Is that where it happened? No. Okay, you just improvised. You just brought in names and names. Yes. That's nice. So you wrote this in class two? Once upon a time? <laughs> Every day after school, when their parents had gone to their workplaces, they would go to the woods in search of fruit and to the riverside also for fishes. You wrote this in class two. That's superb. So who brought about the idea of the pictures? I, it was me. Okay. I saw that kids like, they learn through playing. So I told my dad that when I read a lot of storybooks, the ones that have illustrations in them, I enjoy them mo more than those that don't have anything that um, talks about the write-up. Mm. So I told my dad and he said the little thing that he could do was to get an illustrator to illustrate my book for me. Mm. I mean, it is superb. So. The grammar, the arrangement, composition, who helped you that in, in, in that sense? After writing it, I gave it to my English teacher and some of the teachers that I thought that they know how to speak English. Okay. 
and they edited it for me. Oh, okay. That's nice. But it was your own idea, your own storylines and everything. Wow. It was at least a book. I mean, it is a 25-page book, but the story itself ends at page 22. This is the old version, which was written, like this is the original version, not even old version, original version written by her when she was eight years in class two. When the story is done, she comes to ask certain questions for us to know if you indeed read a story. The question one is, what is the title of the story? Question 17 is on the fifth day to the blah, blah, blah. They saw a great blah, blah coming towards them. I mean, she just wants you to know that indeed you read a story. You say, oh, Fabu could not be a I see, so what do you know? She asked questions at the back, asked about why Wakuskuna, what your end of term examination? Two answer, one answer, check it, say, a creator and your creator. I mean, I'm impressed. So, f f five years, how has this book helped somewhere? Mm. I know that I've done my part mm -hmm. by me letting others know that kidnapping is real. But all that I need right now is if my book could reach the homes of every child okay. so that they could also read it and know that kidnapping is real so they must be alert. Yeah, it's very serious. I mean, the rate at which people are being kidnapped, I mean, it's very serious. I think in Takradi last year, last two years, we had such a case. I mean, we've, we've had several instances in the country where people are kidnapping people for their various reasons. So a male voice came out from the great, I mean, I'm reading from page 16 of the book. A male voice came out from the great white light and said to them, Children, don't be afraid. I'm here to save both of you and take you back home. I'm an angel from God. God has heard your prayers and he has sent me to save you from this wicked ritual. So it's not exactly the story that happened, but she wrote it around it. Which is brilliant. How many kids are we doing right now? Do you know kids who are not exactly. Okay. So why professor number one? It's a long story. It's a long story. It's not a short story. Okay. Somebody's a family. When I was young, yeah. my dad told me that when I was young, he taught me, he taught me to um, read, I think to memorize um, numbers. And I was only seven months old. He seven months? Yes. He would say it and <laughs> he would say it and I I would be like one, two, three, four, and when I reach five now say ten. Mm. <laughs> and so he and when he was teaching me how to read too, he thought that I was a fast learner, so he called me professor number one every time. And then that's manifested. Mm, no professor is writing book in class two. Which is which is which is not normal, which is not usual. Because Charlie Class two, some of us uh, things we're doing you don't even remember when I learning uh, Ali and those who play football in the in the in the bars, they're going to play football in the bars and they go. But she she actually has written a book. So is this a this is your first book? Yes. Do you have any other book apart from this? I have a written story. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this is my first book. So those ones are not published yet? No. Oh, okay. So you have a lot of stories? Oh, okay, okay. So um, how will somebody get this to buy? I think you have a contact here. Yes, please. Okay, give us your contact in case somebody needs something to buy. Okay. So you can call this number. Mm -hmm. These numbers 0244454. Four seven five seven, and then zero two four four three three two nine three three eight. So how how are you how are you living life? Because you know some young ladies when they get to just as to get going to form three, then actually now I'm the slave queen of the moment. I'm of the moment that social media has come. Let me go and TikTok somewhere. Let me go and Instagram somewhere. Are you that kind of person? Are you the prophetess? I do learn. You do learn. Yes. And I also play. Yeah. And I also have my own TikTok account. Okay. But I don't spend my my whole time on TikTok. Okay. Yes. I have 
days that I used to do TikTok, I do TikTok and I learn mostly and I learn the most. Okay. Okay. Kiss other, I mean, I, I, I guess you've heard her. She plays. She does the TikTok, she does the Instagram, she does the socials or social media plus platforms. But the most important thing for her right now is to learn. And she does that a lot than the others. Because now she thinks she's young, she has a lot of time ahead of her. Even I mean, in 10 years' time, bigger platforms will come. But then she will be the professor that she wants to be. What do you want to be in future? I. Maybe I'll write a book. Be an author. Right now, I like science, but I don't know the <laughs> the field that I should go in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can be a doctor. It can be a pharmacist. Can be a, a, a okay, like health practitioner in general. Or well, maybe go into the engineering field because they are science. Mm. Mm. Okay. So the the no, numbers again, if what's going to be zero two four 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 five four seven five seven and zero two. Four, 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 two, four, three, two, nine, three, three, eight. Okay. Uh, social media handles. In case somebody wants to follow you. Oh, my TikTok account is Ella underscore writer three. Okay. Yes. Follow her, Ella underscore writer three. I mean, she's she's doing so well. So, when is your book coming out? My book. Your next book. My next book. I'm yeah, looking forward to it. Oh, okay. Okay. So who finished the book? Everything was done. My dad and my mom. Okay. That's nice. Um, how is the sales of the book? It's, it's good, but that's not what I expect. I want it to be everywhere. Yeah, so. and even reach the Minister of Education. Oh, of course. So, he has to get a copy. Uh, so as they always write in our terminal like report, there's room for there's always room for improvement. So people can still come by. But I'm going to book now. Now say yes. These things are real. These things are things that we really touch on. We really talk about. And Samuela Osai has written a 25-page book about it. Say be on the age group no more. And you know what we I don't want to say, oh, you feel. I don't want to school. Be one to certain places. Walk away victim. But if you get this book for your, your kid, I'm sure you know she's going to know that these things are real and be careful when they are approaching strangers. Your father was to your people, your, your friends, your fans, your followers, kids, and you. Know, tell them something. I want to say that I. Thank everyone who has supported me in bringing out my book. And I want to say that all kids around the world, especially Ghana, must protect themselves from strangers. And they should never go close to someone that they don't know. Yes, because it has a lot of harm than how you see it. Because you can't trust anyone. Even though maybe you know the person, but still, you cannot trust everyone. So I want to say that everyone must stay alert and protected. Thank you very much, Sam Samuela. From Kumase Matters of Uganda School Student, Samuela, not only didn't come on about her new book, The Strangest Trophy. Oh, yeah. I mean, this, you see, a real law. It's not just a book. These things do happen. Someone will give you something, you don't know, we did not have a water. We did not have a from. So let's take this thing seriously. I'll be happy if you get a copy of this book for your kid, then don't know that these things do happen. Then I'm fine now, but I'm not going to be So I'm not going to be My name is Felix. Go get yourself the book. Bye bye. Zest Consult is the best place for your IELTS, SAT, and GRE tuition. The IELTS facilitates study, work, and live abroad. The SAT and GRE facilitate study abroad on scholarships. 
This consult has an amazing track record of training around 4,000 students, nurses, midwives, and many others who have excelled in these examinations and realized their study and work abroad dreams. Contact us if you really want to study on scholarship. This consult also provides real estate, automobile, and IT solution services. We can help you buy or sell lands and buildings and rent office spaces or accommodation. We can also help you obtain a car loan or buy or sell a car. If your institution needs a stunning website, then amazing software then contact us you can call or whatsapp us on 0345-631-633 or 050-909-2330 you can locate us at kumasi cultural center and the chamsu may 5 inside willas towers zest consult excellence is our home